Hello everyone, welcome again. So we are today we are going to learn how to debug solar queries using solar interface. So it is very important sometimes to be to be able to debug the queries. So I'll uh, do some search. Okay, I'll set some parameters and press search button. Cool. Now we'll open the interface. So you have to say localhost 8982. Yeah. So this is the solar interface, web interface. You can know the port number by going to solar sunspot.yml file. Right. Now select development and then go to query. Now we can start debugging our query. Right. So let's go back to solar rails console and okay this is our solar query. Right. So we can start using this information. So first bit of information is FQ that is filter query so you can go to this official documentation again and get more information about the meanings of these terms such as FQ stands for filter query right this is usually used to restrict the superset of documents that are returned right without influencing the score so let's say let's go back to console again let's copy this type equal to player type player and paste this as it is and let's hit the execute button so we got about 683 records which is which is basically all the players and you can see uh, we can see the stored fields almen abdi so name was stored right so if you go back to our uh, player model in the searchable block it is we have stored name acs right let's store position also right Let's do that and let's re-index this because we have changed the searchable block. So yeah. So let's re-index this very quickly. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our interface and let's say execute. Now we can see position field is also stored, so we can see those values. Let's do something else with this. So let's apply some more constraint. Yeah, so I'll apply goal score 21 to 30. Okay, so as you can go back to console, there's one more solar query that we have fired. Right, this is the checkbox condition minutes played 100 to more than 100, right? So we'll go back and you can add FQ and paste that thing there and say execute. So now we have got 467 results right now again go back to console goal scored 21 to 30 that we just applied go back here say plus and say that and say execute now we got three results set right so you can also remove one of these conditions in filter query now let's do sort so let's go back to console how do we do sort so sort is like okay field name and order right so it's fairly simple so I'll say points are descending hit the execute button so it is this it is descending ordering points then you can say name uh, it is a integer it is s right so you can say it is now descending order of name correct then comes next I guess is pagination how do we do pagination uh, so we have got about uh, two fields for pagination that is start and rows so start is basically from which record you want to start and how many rows so let's say 10 and let's okay so let's remove one of the condition so we got 467 so let's start from 100th record so now we have got from 100 to 110 10 records cool now what is this fl field so let's go back to okay so it is star score so what is fl stands for so let's find out so basically you are getting the score for each uh, record right uh, and what is that star so let's go back to our documentation the string score can be used to indicate that the score of each document for the particular query so basically how much how much was the matching percentage of each document 
if you use star it indicates that all stored fields should be returned so I indicated star here so instead of that let's say name underscore ACS so now we are only seeing the stored name field let's try with position underscore SS and now we are seeing only position stored field right um, okay so let's look let's go back to star so we can see both the position stored and name stored now cool now let's let's try some full text search so I'll type pow and search so I'll get two results Paul Pogba and Paul Robinson so how is this query expressed so here is the query that query part of full text in the queue section so let's go back and start that so let's no, you, you, we cannot paste it as it is here. So what needs to be done is type the text pow, check edis max because that was mentioned there, right? And set the query field as name underscore ACS. So copy that and go to query field and say name underscore ACS. Now hit the search button. And now you have got two records, Paul Robinson and Paul Pogba. Cool. So this is how we debug the full text search. Now let's say let's try Jack. And let's hit the let's remove the condition. Let's hit the execution button. Okay. So again the that remains the same. Now we have got about seven records, right? All the jacks from all the teams. Now let's try facet. How do we debug facet? So we have to specify the facet field facet. So that is position underscore s. Yeah. Okay. Now we have stored that right. While we are indexing position, we also stored it. So we will have to use position underscore ss. I think. Yeah. So let's do that now. We got the facet information right. All the facet rows. And with the facet count, midfielder 3, defenders 2, goalkeeper 2, forward 0. This is working. Now let's try query facet. So how do we try? Okay, our query facet is both based on goal scored i. Integer that is. And let's try 0 to 10. That is the first range of our query facet. 0 to 10. And let's try and hit execute. Now we can see... If Goal scored as 0 to 10, we have got 7 records. Awesome. So this is how you debug the query facets. Similarly, you can also debug the range facets. One more interesting thing here is that uh, we can also select the output medium. So let's say Ruby and hit this. So this is now presented in a Ruby object format, I think. Yeah, we can also select uh, PHP yeah let's do php and i think um, this is php array associated array i guess yeah but i think it's best uh, most readable in json format so let's try json yeah this is the most readable one okay there's one more interesting option this debug query and check this and execute and so for those who are really interested in technicality uh it will get more statistics more data about the results that you have obtained why they are obtained with their scores with their you know weightage and everything everything so thank you for watching